Welcome back to EA Sports continuing coverage of the American Hockey League. I'm James Sabalski. Always a good night of action on the ice here. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Roadrunners take possession to get this one underway. Delayed penalty coming up here. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Now a quick pass to Jenik. Nice zone entry on the left side. Whistle blown, stopping the play. This is certainly not how you want to start a game. You're behind the eight ball. You got to kill off a penalty and you got to find a way to gain some momentum. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you when you score first, chances are you win the game. Here's a shot. Calvary's got the puck shorthanded. And they get the puck out. Moves it to McGregor. Goes right to the crease. Sensational stop by Wolf. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does. Yeah. Score! Well, putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. The Roadrunners were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they establish some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on their... Oh! The Preaching all the time. Take away the eyes of the goaltender. What does that mean? It means you get yourself in front of that net, whether it's a double stack, a double screen, whatever you can do so that the goaltender can't find the puck. And he couldn't as he drops to that butterfly. He tries to make himself as big as possible, but he can't catch up to the puck. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Wranglers play the long wing. And that's off a stick. Battle along the boards. The Wranglers have it against the wall. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Moves the puck. Moves it quickly over to Pullman. Well, this is real-time processing with a sweet set of mitts, just making the goaltender move out of position and then recognize him when you have the net to put it in. The Wranglers have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now, more jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead, take the momentum and use it to their advantage. Turn that one aside. The Roadrunners have it now. Here they come, down the left side on the attack. What a steal in his own end. Calvary's got it along the wall. Quick pass to Jones. And he takes the feed. Denies him with the pass save. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Feed to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. Quick feed to Smith. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Here's a short pass to Smith. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. And he takes the D. 
dish. Big time save! Oh my goodness! Oh, Throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Puck picked up by Karens. And he takes the feed. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. And the puck leaves the offensive end. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Moves it to Kuznetsov. Moves it to the middle. Kisses it off again here. Another pass. Block shot. Sent into the offensive zone. Wolf's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. The Roadrunners take it along the wall. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Nearing the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. The Wranglers take control of the faceoff. And now he angles it across to Schwinn. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Turns that one away. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Calgary's going to start with the puck in their own end. Sutter's moving the puck through his own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Works it across to Camper. Tucson's in transition. Shot. Oh, an unbelievable stop by Wolf. And that's poked away by Pullman. From one end of the middle line to the other. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Unloads the shot. And that's broken up. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over control. Goalie with the stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Past the midway mark in this period. We got a tie game. Jones wins the draw on their own end. And a puck check knocks the puck away. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck across to Smith. Quick shot! And that goes off a player in front. The Wranglers move the puck in the defensive zone. Tripped up on the play. Delayed penalty coming up. And the play's whistle dead. Here's the call. The Roadrunners will lose a man tripping the call. Man advantage here in the set. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Just gets enough to keep it out. Hard hit, frees up the puck. And he loses control here. Tucson's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they clear that puck. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Wolf's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Jennings ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Tucson's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Tries to get the puck over to Lyle. Calgary's moving it into the offensive end. There he is from the slot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. 
Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face-off here on this power play. The Wranglers win the face-off. Handles it along the blue line. Tucson's killed the penalty. Well, a really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer. But finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. Carrots wins it. They'll go to work now on the attack. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. And now it's taken by Hebig. From behind the net. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Off the outside of the iron. Calgary's been battling this entire game, and it's been back and forth and still tied. They were looking to get the go-ahead goal there with that good look. But it goes off the pipe. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. They get it out of the defensive end. Handles the pass from the right wing. Slides the puck over. Off a stick and they can't connect. Trying to clear. McGregor's taking it from his own end. Puts it on net. Answers the call big time. What a stop by Wolf. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Jones is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Wranglers win the draw on their own end. Trying to clear the zone. And they get the puck out of the zone, and that's a break for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear. He's got a step. Oh, to anticipate and get across to make that save. Man advantage fails to deliver, and both teams back playing at even strength with the score still tied. Well, even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there was no... Scores! The ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck for the sense an upward trajectory as this game progress, and they find the back of the net. That's what you call having a nap for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Calgary's gone up by one after that goal here in the first. Well, yeah, and it certainly changes the mindset. You got a little bit of jump to your step. You're more confident. Now you got to attack. You got to push when your opponent's down. He grabs the puck here at the four. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. And that's off the iron! Tucson's been working hard, and they're still in the game here. Yes, they hit the pipe, and it went out. But they're still in the game. They have to fight right to the end. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Great reach with the stick by Jones. Quick pass to Jenick. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Here comes the official's call. Well, this is a huge, timely penalty kill, James. Late in the frame, close game. you got to get to work, put your work boots on, and you got to kill this part of the penalty. upon greatly by his teammates. He's one of the stars of this team and needs to produce night in and night out. Pizik's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. 
Period number one in the books. First intermission entertainment is on deck here. You can also have time to go grab a drink, grab a hot dog, and we'll be back with period number two in moments. Fans, tonight, the home team blimp is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delmans. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. With 70 stores and 14 restaurants, Delmans has it all. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The Wranglers win the draw and get their penalty killing unit off to a good start. Close, but not close enough. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Chance to reset here on the draw on this man advantage. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Quick feed to Dome. Oh, oh and that's just wide. A beautiful opportunity right in front. Well, a great A opportunity because you pay the price to get to the middle of the ice. And he just puts that one just a tad wide. To the front. And the power play works to perfection as they've tied it up. Well, the power play unit knew what was at stake. They knew that they had an opportunity to get the equalizer in this game, and they executed perfectly. Oh, you could just feel this one coming, couldn't you, James? I mean, they're on the power play, and what an effective one it was. I mean, they are pressuring all over the ice. Even when they lose it, they are first on retrieval, just hounding it, and they wore the PK unit down. They look for their moment, and they convert it. Tucson's in one tonight. This is a fun one, Cheryl. Yeah, it's really entertaining. It's back and forth action. And listen, they didn't get down when they got down by one. Instead, they continued to press and push. And a nice play there to get the equalizer. Great read with the stick. Here's a short pass to Doan. And it's the pass. And he keeps up with it. Block in traffic. Delayed penalty looming. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Roadrunners have been handed two for interference. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets the puck in deep. The Wranglers gain control of the puck against the wall. Passes it over to Lyle. Here they come on the attack. Centering Curtis! That's stopped! And he slides it quickly to Lyle. And there's another stop! And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Centering field! Picked off in front. Nice job to escape the zone. McCartney's almost back on the ice. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. Four pass on the play, and Puck leaves the zone. The Wranglers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a chance. Turns it aside with the pad. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Moves it to Jones. Slowed away with the stick in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Jack. Slip feed. Knocked off the puck. From the left. 
offside into the middle of the neutral zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Fires it on net. Stars! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. But without a ton of time and space in that high slot area, he makes the right choice of selection of shots with that quick snapshot. Pulls it into the feet, disguises the angle, and beats the goalie clean. Calgary's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. have it from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Big play inside the defensive zone. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. The Roadrunners have it in the offensive zone. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Quick pass to Leonard. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Enters the offensive zone from the left. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on his stick. Takes a shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Poked away. The Wranglers pick up steam and are on the attack. Grabs possession of the puck. Moves inside! Scooped up along the wall by Sutter. Misses! And he shuts the door on that. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Takes control of the puck. Sutter pass in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! More than half the frame has been played here. The Wranglers lead it 4-3. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Shoots it back in. Scores! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Oh, James, these are the types of goals that everyone loves because they provide energy. It's determination. It's being relentless on the puck. And he's falling to the ice, and he still manages to get a stick on it. No one knows. He has the wherewithal to shoot the puck and still get it off, including the tender, and that's why it goes by. Calgary's now taking a two-goal lead here in the second. Well, that's a huge goal that's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. And he loses control of the puck. McCartney stick handling in his own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Here he is, wrists it on net, and he shuts the door again. Scores! He puts it in on a second effort. Well, this goal will be in the video room tomorrow, James, because it's second effort, and you know that coaches love that. But you gotta love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck. Good hand-eye coordination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. The Roadrunners needed that, Cheryl, and they seem to have some life now. Well, they've shortened the deficit, and there's nothing better to get you back in the game than one goal to put themselves on their toes. But again, they're going to have to have an attack mentality if they want to get an equalizer. Grabbed along the board by McCartney. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Oh, great save there! Karens works the puck in his own zone. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. And it's a quick pass to Camper. And that's blocked away. Gains the zone through the middle. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Drew. Bolalta's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Past the midway mark of the frame. 
The Roadrunners make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Passes over to Douglas. Takes it across the blue line. Taken along the wall by Kirkland. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Tucson's got the puck. Puts it in deep. And loses possession after a solid hit. Pullman's got the puck in his own zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. Pass to Jones. Quick feed to Bishop. Oh, ball move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Tucson's got the puck against the boards. Calgary's got a hold of the puck now. And now he moves it quickly to Pullman. Poked away in the offensive zone by Bishop. Sends the pass over. Sends it out in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Carries it across the line. Sends the pass in front. And that chance is blocked. Tucson's moving the puck through center ice. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Pesic. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And that goes off course off the body. And a great lead to turn that play aside. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Wranglers are in an offensive battle tonight. They lead it 5-4. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Tucson's on the attack. And he takes the pass. With the stop. Oh, misses the net. What a chance there. Oh, it was a great chance. And one that he will want back. The puck is all around him, though. If he continues to get to the right spots at the right time, you got to figure he's going to get one by the tendon. Moves it to Poirier. Handles the puck. Glove saved by Wolf. The setters will glide into the dot. And nearing the final minute of the second. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Takes the shot. Just a simple save by Wolf. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Here we go, odd man rush here. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. Well, there you go, two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Wranglers are in the lead in the third period. It's been an entertaining game of hockey, but it's all about the offense and how much you can generate. Sky by numbers off the charts, but zero defensive metrics on display. The Roadrunners work it through center. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Moves it quickly over to Gallant. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Quick pass to Jenick. 
Tucson's got the puck against the half wall. Big stop by the goaltender right in front. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. The Roadrunners have it now. Picked up along the wall by Kemper. Slides it across to McGregor. Fires it! How did he stop that one? This is a dialed... Scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. Wouldn't it be pretty if this was a set shot? Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in? That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. Lots of time left in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Roadrunners win the draw here in the neutral zone. Frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. And that shot dies in traffic. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Golotar. Nice feed from the right wing. Drops the puck away. Calgary's got possession of the puck. McLean's crossed the line and is on the attack now. Good hit on the play. Right in the low slot. Comes up with a monster save in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. He gets it a shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. The Wranglers with a huge goal here in this third period. Now buckle up and can they hang on? Oh, I think it's more than hanging on, James. They've got to continue to attack and they've got to manage the puck. I mean, yes, it's the third period. There's a lot of runway left here. It's only a one goal game. Quick feed to Pullman. That knocks it off the puck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oh, a clutch save! It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play. Oh, he had it! But it goes off the inside post. Tucson's been getting closer to the net and getting better looks. That one goes off the pipe. If this game is close, you can get another one. They can get right back in it. Coleman's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. The power play unit goes right back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process, and their skill sets. Gallant's got it along the wing. Here's a shot, and he gets in front of that. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And the puck's knocked loose. Slides the cross ice pass. Across the line and on the attack. Here's a blast! Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Kenick's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. The Wranglers gain possession along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Poirier. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Picked up by Drew. 
Tucson's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, they're doing a great job of taking away passes. Doe's got it in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Drew. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Puck dumped in. Takes the pass. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Poirier's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a pass down low. Sends a pass over. Great save by Belota. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Handles the puck at the point. What an entertaining game, James. A lot of goal calls for you as it's been back and forth action in the offensive zones. Not much defensive structure to this one as everyone's looking to attack. Smith's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Picks up the puck in his own end. The Wranglers move it in. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here's a short pass to Hebe. Shot, and he lays out to block that one. Big stop right there. Takes the feed. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a chance. Save. Tucson's got the puck along the wall. The Wranglers will play it from the defensive zone. Delayed penalty coming up here. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Wranglers are off to the box. Interference the call. unit goes right back to work. Well, so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success, is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. And now he tries to get it across to Doan. Quick stop! James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender. The Roadrunners definitely needed that one here in the third. You feel their energy amping up as they get through this third period, and they'll need to have their best hockey at the last if they want to get back in this one. From the left side, takes it at center. Excellent stick work on the play. Tremendous hit into the boards, and that's a finishing play. Oh, what a big time stop by. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Tucson's got a hold of the puck. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Oh, he gets all that one with the pad. The Roadrunners scoop it up along the boards. Maurice breaks up the momentum. The noise, he got on it. Wolf's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. 
Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. The Wranglers start with the puck in their own end. Calgary's looking to break out. Lyles hauled down, penalty on the way. And here comes the judgment from the official. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're gonna have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Let's send it back down to ringside with Carlin Bay. Pizik's a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight for the offensive side of his game. I've been impressed with his performance. Tucson's won the draw. And the puck leaves the zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. Over the line they come. Moves it to Smith. Looking to make something happen at center. Sends it in deep. The Wranglers have it against the wall. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Smith's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Broken up with a stick. Clearing attempt. Oh, and a big sigh of relief there as they get the puck out. Yeah, late in the game, you want to make sure that you protect the house, you protect the foundation, which is your own zone. So any way you can get it over the blue line is a good way. The Roadrunners with a huge penalty kill there. Part of being an elite athlete is recognizing the timing of when you get your opportunity. Pressure and embracing it is everything. Everyone in the building, the staff, your team knows how important that was. And it was a miss. The Wranglers move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Poirier. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. He scores! What a goal! I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. Looks like lineups are set. And they're ready to get things back underway. Kenneth's won the draw. Good night.